have their avenue to success here against G2. And we wondered if G2 would experiment a little bit. We wondered if they go a little bit out of the box. I don't think they really have here. The Bonk of jump across. There's still no cleanse on caps as Xerxes steps forward. There's the path. Going on to Yankos. They get the lockdown. Hero, Hero Entrance is going to connect, but it's not enough. First Blood goes over to Splice, and now Xerxes not in the best of shapes. The Requiem comes out. G2 get an, a kill in return. It's a it's wonderful Coming across, and because G2 are quicker to react, as an Ocean Drake just gifted over to our top team in the league. It could just be that Splice are saying, you know, fall back to our old tricks. We know that we're confident in the 5v5 lane phase, although I'll hold that thought. Yankos is just around the corner here, but Xerxes on his way as well. Chachi trying to turn it around as Yankos goes in with the Wall of Pain. That's Klaxism as well. Yankos we down. Go. Chachi gets out. That's how you unlock this for Necton. And now Wonder maybe in for a world of hurt as the Requiem comes down. Rift Hoes used mid by G2. They're controlling this top side of the map. Humanoid jumps in. They're looking for the engage. Lance and Lance. Hero's entrance will come out, but already one down. Rift Held is the target now for Splice. They don't want that to get a charge off. It will get one in, but it does not After, take the time. Let's reset the map, walk towards Infernal, and try to find this window where before Splice get access to these big wombo combos, we can try to force it. Games, you know. Looking at uh, last summer, they were knocked out by Schalke, the eventual finalists. They came third in spring and then before that they were knocked out by G2. Yeah, but it's just not flashy. And so it's much easier to be a G2 fan when you see all these players just flexing on kids. Splice with the Infernal Dragon control. That'll be a very good Drake for them. And uh, they will secure it. 17 minutes in, they have a 1,000 gold lead or 600 As the laning phase ends and we look towards the Hold next up. objective for these teams, it looks like Splice are going towards the mid lane. Perks uses a great ultimate just to get out of the range of the box, but Mickey is going to be sacrificed here. Splice once again get vision control around mid. With Wonder coming down, you think this will be the mid lane tower being opened up by G2. Man, it's just Wonder saying that I got the top lane far enough to Splice. 70% AD and AP is very strong. Perks is baiting here for his team. The hook comes out. No scaring doesn't quite connect. But Zersi comes in from the side and now Humanoid going in with Glacier Path as well as the Barney in the mid lane as the fight erupts. Wonder forced out. Mickey not in the best of shapes. Pulled out of the heroic entrance. And now Chachi's on the back line. And Splice is just running their way through G2. G2 step forward. They made a bait with perks. But they were the ones baited. And Splice just collapsed around them. Chachi can't quite get the chase up here. Looking for the final slice and dice. Looking for that connection. But he's not quite close enough. And perks is just going to run away with the supercharge. Chachi now in all kinds of hurt. Trying to get towards the lantern. Caught out with the flawless duet, still healthy enough, he gets to the lantern. Counts though, might jump across the wall onto Chachi. The Infernal Drag goes down, Counts coming in with a distortion. Oh, he misses the chains, and Chachi gets Teleport. the hell out of there. Teleport coming in now from Perks as he tries to join the fight once again, but he's just going to push the mid lane. Caps jumping forward, Humanoid waiting in the bush, and Caps will way down as well. But again, a fight in the mid lane as Xerxes looks to go for the engage. Mickey low taken out, Xerxes can't get to the lantern in time. And here comes Cap jumping in onto Noscare, and it's a 3v4 in favor of G2, but Humanoid just turns it around. Almost gets out. Chachi now on the flank as Perks looks for the engage. There's the Requiem. North Garen goes golden to stop it. Chachi's jumped all the way back. Wonder. Very much Flash. in this game. In contention. Fighting still for that position in playoffs, of course, sitting at 8 and 6. You really started here by Splice. However, you've got Mickey, you've got the Torn, you've got Aurelia there as well. The hook doesn't connect from North Garen, and maybe Splice will back out of this one. A little bit too greedy from them, perhaps, as Chachi goes down towards the bottom side. The engage comes out, it's all on Mickey. They just want the Galio, they want the support. They'll take him out. The boundary set, though, ends up being a one for one shade across the with your G2 perks. Step very far forward here. Yankos doing the infernal. Splice realized maybe something's up as Caps goes in, gets caught out. Locked down, his Caps down, he is! And perhaps within the homes of G2 for winning this fight, Yankos still on the dragon! Splice come down, they won't get it! Dragon goes across the G2, but already they've lost three players, and you have to think uh, that's bad. Guarding it, so perfect setup from Splice, a massive team fight that again G2 walked into blind. Snapshot. And the question is, are you going to be able to slow them down enough? Not for this mid lane tower, at least that's going to fall. It's also playing that delicate edge. strategy come to the fore. Can you play this properly, Splice, or will you get caught out by G2? I think it's oh, they're going to try and catch them out themselves. Mickey hooked up. There's the box as well. So much it's damage one. coming out to him, and he's got one. G2, you might have the wave clear, but if Xerxes just goes all in, you're going to fall. Redemption used as well here by Splice. Maybe looking for a little bit more as they go towards the Mar. Remember, on that Renekton, all of G2 coming down here. Can Splice react He does have stopwatch. Enough? He's got stopwatch. There's a hero's entry. Trying to slice some dice out. We'll pop the ultimate. Cole of the Week coming out as well. Goes into stopwatch. Splice, they just want to push mid. They just want to go for mid tower here. They will get the shutdown, but it's all five members of G2. The midway pushing in as the inhibitor has to be the target for Splice. And that's why Chachi wasn't the guy on the sideline, why it was Humanoid, but it did buy them a, a lot of time to force this down. We'll see if they also turn it into an inhib or respect the flank potential, because here comes G2. Caps so far. They backed off, they've reset. Let's have a look at where they are in terms of items. Zonia's finished on it towards Humanoid. You've got from that severe. Ocean Drake picked up quite late, not really going to do too much. Humanoid chased away here by Perks, because they haven't quite 
broken through this tier two line. Tier two goes up down in the top lane for G2, but Splice with four members strong can just push in. Remember, Perks has the teleport on the Kaiser. He continues to step forward. I've seen this story before. Oh. Lens was not used there from Xerxes. Could have been caps chunked out a little bit, but the wall of pain comes down. Humanoid going into the back line, trying to get Yankos. He flashes away. Hero Kendrick's great. Hawkos caps. He cleanses now. Splice stepping forward. That's Cataclysm. Yankos forced off the backside of the fight. And Comet just opening up. Boomerang. Boomerang. Boom to G2. Here comes the Requiem down. As it looks like through this fight, you can see Charchi backing away. Still has the teleport. Though Caps on the back line is G2 trying to start the fight in the river. Charchi there, Caps has the flank position, he's gone back. Need to teleport in soon because Caps Surprise! just gonna jump in. Surprise! Says Caps! That's two down, a third to follow, and it's all on Kobe. He takes out one, Charchi on the fight. Can Kobe get the boomerangs in? Can he turn it around for his team? The only man who's been on this team the whole time is Kobe! And it's a party for Splice because they run through G2! Holy hell! That said, the Baron has been saved for G2. Huge play from both members. Caps making sure that they stop the Baron, maybe following it up again. Oh, almost landed the chance, but Chachi will get away just in the moment. What a fight from Kobe, though. What a moment to step up and be counted for your team. And the one time that Splice actually lose vision control of an area, Caps manages to sneak into the darkened area. He's got Flash still. He's got the chains as well, but Kobe still has the spell shield. One auto, two auto, goodbye, Caps. One second, he goes seconds of Splice. Second Baron of the game, fully built Sive in the perfect Probably spot. the hero play from uh, Caps and Yankos to delete this Sivir. You have to think if Splice take this win, they go from being just a playoff contender to a contender for top two here in Europe. Maybe not in the regular season, but definitely. Take it, but Splice smartly just immediately ran there. On the hunt, Park takes a crit. Charger going in as well. Perks stunned up. Here comes Zazi. He dunks onto Perks. They dunk Yankos as well. And already G2, two men down the record. Coming out, North Garen will be sacrificed for his team as Yankos gets a counter kill. But Splice could just look for the end here. They just need to push in with this minion wave. And they grab the minion wave instead of going for the open inhibs and are trying to go through the bottom of the map. Caps is resetting his position. He is still alive. He still does a lot of damage. But can he hold this? That is the question. All inhibitor towers down now. The first inhibitor here from Splice. Two cannon minions in this wave as well as G2. 3v4 trying to answer. Double talk comes out. Caps trying to jump off Kobe, but it just doesn't have the damage. Wonder does though. That's Kobe down. Him. The shutdown. And maybe that's the fight that G2 and Nida. Caps will fall as well, but already G2 have two. And now Chachi not in the best of spots as Mickey gets the taunt. Wonder looking to the chase. The slice and dice. Chachi will take him out. They turn it back around the stun. Is it enough? Is it enough? It's not the stopwatch. You can go golden all your freaking life. Because Chachi. Chachi will take you out for the triple. Best in the LEC. Doing this. this is the triple dragon elder, double infernal elder, more importantly here for Splice. This is game for Splice. This should be it. This is the nail in the coffin for G2. A team is one W that gets off a single auto attack, and he will rip through G2's front line. Caps with the flank, Kobe caught out, but Chachi's on a rampage. That's a very dead card. This back to death for you. The Requiem comes out. It's not going to do too much. Do the locket. And now Mickey needs a perfect engage, but he doesn't have the flash. Caps forced away to the top side of the fight is G2 just trying to lick their wounds a little bit in their own base. There's a redemption out from Splice. They can reset. They can just wait for the minion waves to push in. And all of the wards are placed around Splice, making sure that Caps can't find an entrance to get into that back line. Splice are staring down G2 right now. They're looking them in the eye. They say, you want to play in the late game? Well, the late game is our friend. Perks jumps away with the supercharger. Caught out. There's a hero's entrance as well. Chachi will go down, but he's still got the GA. Mickey going in for the engage. Can't quite get the damage off, but Kali can. Vanguard's edge comes out. Caps still unable to get a good flank position. The Frozen Tomb on Wonders. He's underneath his towers. Caps gets the shutdown onto Chachi, but it's just not enough. Kali's still alive, and that's all you need in your Splice. Going for those Nexus Towers as one comes back out, but Kali sends him right back to the fountain. Splice clean it up. They stare down G2. And they will take down the top team in Europe. Who is going to dictate the pace of that game? Total opposites here. The fastest team in the league versus the slowest team in the league at 41 minutes. Splice say, you're the best in LEC, we're the best at 5v5.
Fight us on our terms. <laughs> and time after time, they just pulled G2 into the fray. They said, G2, you don't want to fight us? Okay, you go to a side lane. We'll take everything on the rest of the map. We'll force the 4v5. We'll run face first into you, and we'll just bash you down. And there were so many fights that G2 just weren't ready. They didn't expect Splice to be so decisive. And I want to talk about some of the key members of that decisiveness. Yes, you have champions like the Lissandra, like the Jarvan. So, of course, it's going to be Xerxes and Humanoid's names that come up. But Humanoid, a rookie, to be that willing to 